Hello all. In this video, we would be covering uh, the pod creation, deployment creation, and exposing the pod to a particular service onto the cluster and the node board. So let's get started. So we have got this cluster with us. This is a master node for Kubernetes, which consists of one master and two worker nodes. And we are using version 1.8.3 for Kubernetes, that is KubeADM, KubeCTL, and Kubelet, all, all of them. So what we're going to do is, uh, this is the agenda. We will be creating a namespace demo namespace and in the namespace we will create a deployment we will be using uh, an imperative way to create a yaml file out of it and once we have created this we will be applying this yaml file and we can we will be changing the replica sets and then uh, um, before applying the yaml file post that we will be exposing the service uh, to the cluster IP and the node port type. We will be seeing both of them, how we do it, and what's the way to do it. So let's get started. Let's uh, create a namespace. So it creates a uh, demo namespace and uh, then we will be creating a deployment so I am using K because I have used a particular type of uh, commands for it you can refer to the uh, kubernetes.io cheat sheet where you will find there you have to do the auto completion and you need to create a shortcut uh, or you can say a short from form for kubectl and create an ats for the same so uh, let's see the command so here we will be using a dry run for creating a deployment okay create deployment then we will give the deployment name Then we will use the image. We will use Nginx and we will restart equal to always, which means the pod gets a pod is always in the running mode. It gets restarted, recreated in case of failure. So it runs basically. And then we will be using dry run. So this is basically the command here you can use drive and client or server. And then we will use YAML output to a particular file in this. Say demo deploy dot YAML. It will create a YAML file so unknown flag okay this is used in the pod not in here so please remember in version 1.18.3 you can only create pods using kubectl run command so here we have got it so what we're gonna do is we will see this file this has been created you could see so so we will see here and we will change the replica set and we gonna change the restart policy always you 
will save it then so it has created the deployment so we will see the status of the deployment So rollout has been successful. So if we check it, the pods, it's created. But I just want to show there are three replicas which have been created, but we don't want that. Okay. So what we will do is I will delete this deployment. So I will recreate it and the purpose of recreating is that we have created a YAML file, right? So what we can do is I will create it into the demo uh, namespace that we created. So here we have created so what I'm doing is I'm using a kubectl hyphen n is for namespace and demo namespace the name of the namespace. Then I will be creating uh, the deployment in this namespace. You can do it either way. Either you specify it into the YAML file under uh, the uh, metadata uh, or above that. So how to see it now so if I go into the namespace So you will see that in this namespace we have three pods which are running and these are nginx pods and you can also see the deployment and if we have to add some additional we can specify the replica sets <laughs> so i think it's not working here probably because of the cluster that i have so anyways so we have three pods and one deployment that we have let's come on to the second uh, thing that we need to do now we would be exposing it okay uh, we would be exposing it to the cluster ip by default if you do not specify any port it would be the cluster uh, ip port and the uh, type cluster ip which is being used as for the service so we would use the imperative way k expose which is cube serial expose if you want to see the help then you grab minus a2 so it will just it's a helpful command that will show you uh, what is uh, <coughs> uh, how you can use this particular command line uh, or this particular command that is expose command so the category that serves us would be for the deployment so you can let's see which one fits us uh, fits uh, for this particular deployment so this is the one that you can use so let's use it okay expose deployment i will specify the name of the deployment it's it will not come up so what i will do is i will go in here I will use namespace demo namespace expose deployment now it will pick up the demo deployment then what it says you have to identify the port 
okay port equal to 80 and similarly the target port which is actually onto the container that is onto the pod it's something say 80 i will use 80 only and let me take the port here for the service as and i will use a dry run here i will not i or i can use a type also type is equal to cluster ip ip and i will give some name so I will be giving a name here, say name equal to service plus IP. So it creates a service okay so if i have to see that k hyphen n demo get svc so you could see that it has uh, shown the cluster ip being used and if i go in here and i take it as an endpoint it will show three endpoints if you see these are the three ips of the pods which are running uh, behind the deployment so how do i need to check it so i will use curl command and 10.96.156.189 so it you see we have used the port and it hits the target port onto the pods at port 80 and it shows the web page so that's working so this is one way so let's see the other way so if you see in here i will check the ips of the nodes so this is the ip of the node now now if i have to expose the surface onto the node port so that uh, from the node uh, the user hits the ip and it uh, pick it uh, uh, goes to the target port of the service uh, via service to the pods any of the pods so there i will use a different a similar command that i use for expose and uh, this command that we use here i will use node port and the name i will give is node port service it says so okay so these are the services that you could use so here i have to specify node port cap was missing so it has exposed the service so let's see the commands so if you see it will show you service other service will also be coming up which is the node port service the second one now what we can do is it is also doing the same thing from port 8080 it's doing this uh, so i think we have made a mistake here so i will just delete this i didn't specify the node port so i will delete this service i will recreate it as we see as we see hyphen and So what I will do is the command that I run, I will use it as a dry run. Dry run equal to client 
iPhone 0 YAML to node.svc.yaml. So if you see here, everything looks good. So what we can do is I have to specify a node port here. Okay, and the port number for the same. I will specify see I will specify three double zero double nine as a port. I will save it. Now I will create this service. Node B. Now it has created a service. So if I go in there now, so now we will see again. <laughs> Anyways, I will again delete the service. So uh, I didn't specify the namespace. So that's the best. Uh, uh, the best practice is to specify into the YAML file itself. So I will delete it. Oh, sorry, it's not in there. Okay, delete SVC SVC hyphen node. So what we're going to do is I will if I go in here either you can specify in here here you can specify namespace uh, demo and space so it has created uh, now So if you see here now you will see the service and if you see the port column so you will see the port 8080 is uh, your the port and your target port is 80 and your node port is 30099 so here in the same command if I go on to the endpoint you will see the endpoints of the ports for both of them so let's now try to access it with the node ip 172.10.1.5 5 and 6 are the worker nodes or i can use 5 um, port 3 double zero double nine let me specify the http the web page so you could see that it's working fine so that's what we covered today right how we access the service and what we co uh, we created the namespace under the namespace we used the imperative command to create the deployment we created a yaml file change the replica sets uh, from one to three and uh, then we uh, expose uh, the service uh, of type cluster IP and the node port service. So that's about for this video. Thank you for watching and do subscribe the channel as uh, shown initially in the first in the beginning of the video. Thank you.